we should be probably treating upfront with multiple targeted therapies because by the time you develop resistance, it can be very difficult to get control of the tumour. So we should be treating patients upfront with multiple targeted therapies. We should probably also be treating early in the disease as soon as someone's diagnosed with metastatic disease. Um, but this data has to be yet to be confirmed. Now when I talk about combining it, we need to be brave just like uh, they, we were in HIV medicine and consider triple and quadruple therapies. The issue, of course, will be toxicities when you combine so many agents together. But I think the three big areas, if you think about it in three groups, you can think of, for example, in BRAF mutant metastatic melanoma, melanoma that's spread, you've got um, BRAF mutant patients, you've got your BRAF and MEK inhibitor combined, uh, you want to think about what else can you add to extend or even try and cure more people. The three big ways you can think about it is I can add another drug which is very specific against another single protein or a specific pathway. I can try and add a drug which tries to target multiple different pathways or multiple different processes which the cell uh, ends on, like an end, end uh, part of their, their uh, division cycle. Or I can combine with immunotherapy. And I think the priority at this stage is the combinations with immune therapy. People ask about should you give your targeted therapy first or your immune therapy first and which way you should do things. But I really think we should be putting all of them together up front so that while you're taking your targeted therapy, you're starting your immune therapy. And we need to do this in the setting of clinical trials. There is some good uh, basic science and translational research that supports that approach of giving uh, immune therapy up front with your targeted therapy like BRAF inhibitors. So I think that's the, the priority area. The second areas which looks very interesting are these cell cycle inhibitors, MDM2 inhibitors combined with the, for example, BRAF MEK backbone. And then I think the third area of pursuit should be the combination of BRAF and MEK with PI3 kinases. That looks very uh, interesting in the preclinical.